Democrats say the president should lose his job, but Republicans say if they succeed, you could lose yours. Here's why they're saying that. A stunning 266,000 jobs were added last month. The unemployment rate at 3.5% is the lowest it's been in 50 years. The markets are loving it, not because they necessarily love this president. As we keep saying, at the corner of Wall and Broad, they're not necessarily red or blue. They're all about the green. They love money. And under this one, they've been making that money in fistfuls, just like they were making a lot of money when Bill Clinton was president. It probably saved him from impeachment back then. Will it save this one from impeachment right now? The economy is on really strong footing, and I continue to see data coming out that's showing it likely is going to continue being strong going forward. And it is easy to make the parallels between what the economy was doing under the Clinton administration, where the S&P 500 was up about 28 percent throughout his impeachment. And we're really seeing that strong data, and Clinton stayed in office, so I think the question is, is that indicative of what will happen to Trump? I don't know what will happen on Capitol Hill, but I'm very bullish on where the economy is going. And I think with the economy, there needs to be a conversation about wages, because obviously the stock market's doing well, the Dow's doing well, wages aren't moving up at the same rate. Well, here's where I might differ with that. 16 straight months, 3% plus wage growth, that's not yeah. off the charts, but it's off the charts historically as a record run of, of wage gains. Mm -hmm. That's something the president can point to, because predecessors were not stacking that kind of achievement up. Yeah, and I think when it comes to wages, too, um, we just had a really strong jobs report that came out, and wages were maybe a little lighter than everyone wanted to see. But you do also have... But it wasn't boomers. a two in front of it, right? Normally, the wage... Yeah. That's what people have kind of gotten used to, but now 3% or 3% plus has been the norm for 16 straight months. Yeah, and while inflation is really muted, so when you see the actual increase in wages... It's, Real tip, right. Exactly. It's really hitting people's pockets. And you also have baby boomers who are high high wage earners are starting to retire, so that is affecting some of that data. Why are you looking at me while you're saying that? <laughs> Dan, did you, did you catch that? Yeah, I did. I was wondering about yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I think Courtney's right to actually... Uh, compare the growth of, of wages related to inflation because that's what really right. matters. Are people getting ahead? All right.